Hello students, welcome to our first lecture on the series of the two and three wheeler technology. In this we will discuss about the chapter number one that is on the introduction of the two and three wheeler vehicles. For this first we will see about the history of the two and three wheeler vehicles. On the background you can see the history of the vehicles from where the vehicle started and from where the vehicle ended, where we kept innovating for the different vehicles and with new innovations we got the new technology for the vehicles for the two wheelers and three wheelers as well. So in this we will see about the history of the two wheelers, how the two wheelers came into the working of the vehicles and which are the number of two wheelers that we use in the condition of nowadays. So let's start with the first vehicle that is the moped. Right. The first thing is the history of the moped. How the moped come into the picture. First when the moped was manufactured that was known as the cycle motor. The cycle motor was working on the running condition which means you have to run the vehicle to start the vehicle. So it, in that case the vehicle or the moped was started by running itself. The pedal was not provided in that version of the moped. After that the moped that came into the vehicle is the name of doubles. In the case of the Douglas moped, the pedal was provided and it can be worked as a cycle and also it can be worked as a motorcycle. So it gave us two purposes, it can be run as a cycle and it can be run as a motorcycle. So in the moped case, the pedal was provided to start the vehicle. After the thing, the cycle master, in case of the cycle master, the transmission provided was based on the CVT system. In case of the cycle master, the same technology was given on the moped with a new ergonomic design of the moped. And in the last came the moped or we better know as a Luna. In the case of the Luna, which uh, older versions was clearly seen in that case, we have to pedal the vehicle to start it and after starting we can either run it on the petrol or we can either run it as a bicycle. So these are the history of the mopeds which came from the cycle motor, the wheels, then cycle master and at last the moped was invented which was used as a Luna that is better be known name for the moped. Next we will see about the history of the scooter how the scooter came from the moped. For the scooter, first thing was the motorped. The motorped was running on the simple scooter which you have seen that can be run with the force of the foot. Right? You can just sit and stand on the scooter and by just giving the force by the second foot, you can run the motorped or better be known as the normal scooter. After the help of the motorped, the autoped was used in that case to run the autoped, the motor was given but to start the autoped, we just need to provide the first force by the help of the foot. So it was eventually a mechanical vehicle by just giving the starting force with the help of foot. Then came the innovation that is known as the motor scooter. The motor scooter was properly working by the help of the manual transmission in which we used the gearbox. The gearbox was working by the help of the power from the engine and the engine was running from the help of the petrol. So this was the normal scooter that was first built with an older design. After that the first scooter was built by the Vespa that we also know right now, the Vespa is an automatic two-wheeler but the older scooter was firstly invented that was a Vespa which was ergonomically designed properly and 
that vehicle can be run with the proper acceleration and gearbox arrangement. So this was also a type of a manual transmission system. Next thing is the history of the motorcycle. Now that is also better known as the bikes. In the case of the bikes, the first innovation that can be said is the cycle. Right, the cycle which can be run automatically that is known as the motorcycle but the first thing is the cycle or we can say bicycle. Right, by applying the pedals we can run our bicycle. That was the first innovation that is related to our motorcycle. After that, second thing is the motorized cycle. In that case, the normal bicycle was being run with the help of motor and that can be run automatically with the help of the motorized cycle. And the motor was run with the help of a mechanical power. After using the motorized cycle, the next thing is the bike or the motorcycle that was built by the company named Harley Davidson that most of the people know that the Harley Davidson bikes are still available in the market but they were the first one to innovate the motorcycle that can be used by a normal person and it was an ergonomically appealing vehicle that people like to buy and the last thing is the Yamaha bikes that was invented after the invention of the Harley Davidson motorcycles so these are the history for the motorcycle from where it came and what we are using right now. So these are the histories for the moped, for the scooters and for the motorcycle. Now let's see the classification of the two-wheeler. Where we can classify, there are not very broad classification, there are mainly three to four types of the main two-wheelers in which we do a next classification but for the mainly for the two-wheeler, the first we can see is the bicycle, right? the first innovation, the bicycle that still be used for the shorter distances as well, which only works on the manpower, there are no petrol, diesel, anything was used. Also, it is nowadays used again as an eco-friendly vehicle. Second thing is the moped. As we discussed, the moped is the version of the Luna that we already know in which the pedal is also provided and also the engine is also provided for the mechanical power. The third one is the scooter. Right? The scooter that we know which runs on the mechanical power or which runs by the help of manual transmission. Also the things that run on automatic transmission which are Activa, Jupiter, etc, etc, which run on the CVT also comes in the category of the scooter as well. Right. And the last thing is the motorcycle. Motorcycles are very broadly classified. There are different types of motorcycles are used. Generally motorcycles are provided with manual transmissions and these are the reason for the better average compared to the scooter in case of the motorcycles. Motorcycles are widely used in the people. It is very popular two-wheeler as we can say also. So these are the four simple classifications for the two wheelers in the vehicle. Next thing is the classification of the three wheeler. Now three wheeler is mostly there will be one thing that will come into your mind that is auto rickshaws. Right so mainly the auto rickshaws are the type of a vehicle which use the three wheeler system. In the case of the auto rickshaws these are mostly used for the passenger transportation and these are generally widely used in the India. Also, there is second type that is loading auto rickshaw. Right? For the loading transportation or for the goods transportation, you might have seen the tempos or the which is better known as the loading auto rickshaws are also used for the three-wheeler technology as well. So these are the mainly two types for the three-wheeler vehicle that is auto rickshaw and the second one is the loading auto rickshaw in which the goods transportation is done. So in this video we saw about the history of two and three pillars and the classification of the two and three pillars. In the next lecture we will see about the layout of the two and three pillar vehicles. Until then, thank you so much.